Don't take the presence of the storm to indicate the absence of God. Sometimes when you enter into a storm, and there are all kinds of storms, health storms, physical storms, financial storms, emotional storms, there are all kinds of storms. I'm not talking about the storms that rain down water and the lightning and the thunder and all of that. The, I'm talking about storms that other people can't see. Undetectable storms. Storms that make people think you haven't been through anything. Because you get up out of the bed every morning and you, you, you put your hair up and put your makeup on and, and they don't know you put your smile on just like you did your makeup. And, and walked in smiling because you were going through a secret storm. See, see, when you're going through a visible storm, somebody will hand you an umbrella or a raft or, or, or some help or some assistance because they are aware of your suffering. But when you're going through a secret storm, there is no comfort there because nobody knows that you're dealing with a secret storm. They're, they're jealous of the car you're driving, not knowing that it's two payments behind. They're envious of the position that you were promoted to, not knowing that now that you're promoted into that position, you can't even rest at night. You can't even sleep at night. You've got so much pressure and so much responsibility on you. And all of a sudden you're in a storm and nobody even knows it. And when we get in a storm, we have a tendency to wonder, where is God? Job said, I looked for him. He was there a minute ago, but now I can't find him. I, I looked on the right side and I couldn't find him. I looked on the left side and I perceived him not. Where is God in the storm? Because we buy into this notion that if God was with us, we would have no storm. That if God were really with us, we would be happy. <laughs> that if God were really with us, everything would go smoothly. That if God were really on our side, we would have no family problems. If God were really with us, our bills would be paid. How could God be with us and us be in foreclosure? Job said, I can't figure it out. How could my kid die and God be with me? How could my house be on fire and God be with me? I looked for him. I looked for him. I didn't see him. I looked on the right. I didn't see him. I looked behind me. I didn't, you said you had my back. I didn't see him. I looked in front of me. I thought he'd lead the way. I didn't see him. But you cannot see in a storm. That's why he told you to walk by faith and not by sight. You cannot see in a storm. Don't look for God to be sensual in your storm. He will not appeal to your senses. Your senses add to your comfort. God will not make you comfortable in your storm. But just because you are in the presence of the storm, the storm does not negate the presence of God. Nor does it indicate the absence of God. The Bible said he is a very, very present help in the time of trouble. If you're looking for God, he's in the storm. He may not be saying anything, Peter. You may find him asleep on the boat in the bottom of the ship, but don't think that he jumped off the boat because you were in a storm. He is with you in the storm. He promised. Whenever God promises you something, he says you may not have it in your sensual realm right now, but I promise you. He said, he promised me when you pass through the water, I'll be with you. He wouldn't have said that if his presence was apparent because you never promised the obvious. 
He said, but when you pass through the water, you got my word on it. I am in there with you. You may not see me. You may not feel me. You may not sense me. But I tell you what, all the while you're stroking in the water, understand you are not stroking by yourself. Don't be so aware of the storm that you lose awareness of the God in the storm.